The family drama surrounding the death of beloved actor John Amos, known for his roles in Roots and Good Times, has taken yet another troubling turn. Amos passed away on August 21, 2024, but his death wasn't reported until October 1. Shockingly, some family members claimed they were unaware of his passing until it was made public. In the wake of this revelation, Amos' daughter, Shannon Amos, and other family members, including goddaughter Amy Gowdy, released statements suggesting that her brother, Casey Amos, had isolated their father from the rest of the family. Shannon has now come forward with additional allegations, claiming that Casey, along with their father's supposed publicist, Belinda Foster, and a man named Eugene Brummett, may have conspired to change John Amos while without the family's knowledge. Casey Amos has remained silent on the accusations, having not posted on social media since mid-August. However, Foster has strongly refuted the claims. In a conversation with TMZ, Shannon revealed her belief that Casey, Foster, and Brummett took advantage of her father, especially as his health declined after his 2016 diagnosis with Alzheimer's and Lewy body dementia. Shannon described her father's health as having improved temporarily, stating that he was doing relatively well until around 2022, when it became clear that he could no longer take care of himself. At that point, Casey moved in with him and began accusing a caregiver of stealing from their father. According to Shannon, it was after this time that their father became increasingly isolated, with Casey allegedly withholding medication from him. One of the most troubling aspects of the situation for Shannon and her family was discovering that John Amos had been cremated just nine days after his death, something the family only recently became aware of. She expressed suspicion about the motivation behind Casey's actions, suggesting that there were financial incentives tied to her father's valuable SAG AFTRA insurance. Shannon believed her father should have been receiving care at Cedars Sinai, but instead, he was taken to a hospital in Inglewood, a decision that she said made no sense given the circumstances. Shannon also raised concerns about her father's will, stating that her uncle had been named the executor of the estate but had been forced to rewrite the will several times because of Casey's alleged interference. She claimed that Casey would manipulate their father into signing documents that undid previous versions of the will, forcing their uncle to constantly revise it. According to Shannon, she even made Casey sign a statement after their mother's death in which he admitted to manipulating their father into making changes to his will. Despite this agreement, Shannon claims Casey continued to exploit their father's vulnerability, manipulating him into signing documents without family oversight. In response to the growing controversy, Belinda Foster issued a statement to People magazine refuting Shannon's claims. Foster, who had represented John Amos as his publicist for over 30 years, denied any involvement in elder abuse or manipulation. She asserted that she had grown very close to Amos over the years, describing their relationship as familial. Foster insisted that Amos himself had referred to her as a daughter in recent years and that there was no fraud involved in their connection. Foster also addressed the 2023 elder abuse allegations that Shannon had brought against her brother, KC. According to Foster, these allegations had led to a court order that restricted KC from having any contact with Shannon. As a result of this legal situation, KC did not inform the family of John Amos' death, as doing so would have violated the court's no-contact order. Foster went on to explain that John Amos himself had requested a delay in announcing his death. She claimed that Amos was concerned about how Shannon might handle the situation, citing his fear that she would turn his passing into a circus, as he felt she had done with other aspects of his life. Foster maintained that, contrary to Shannon's claims, medical professionals had assessed Amos in the last year of his life and found him to be mentally sound. The drama surrounding Amos will has continued to intensify. Shannon expressed her frustration, accusing Casey of continuing to manipulate their father even after signing an agreement not to. According to her, Casey's actions have caused tremendous pain and division within the family, and she believes they were motivated by financial gain and control over their father's estate. Foster, however, painted a different picture, expressing sorrow over Shannon's decision to pursue these allegations. She maintained that both she and Casey had cared for Amos during his final years and that law enforcement authorities had investigated the elder abuse allegations in 2023, finding no basis for Shannon's claims. 
Foster concluded her statement by emphasizing the importance of preserving John Amos' legacy as a distinguished actor and community activist, expressing hope that the ongoing disputes within the family would not tarnish his reputation. Shannon has indicated that she plans to pursue a police investigation into the matter, citing a conversation she had with her father's doctor, who reportedly told her that Casey was withholding medication and preventing John Amos from receiving necessary cancer treatments. According to Shannon, her father was supposed to undergo treatment for cancer, but Casey's interference prevented it from happening. As the situation unfolds, the Amos family remains divided, with Shannon determined to seek justice for what she believes were manipulations and abuses carried out in her father's final years. The conflicting narratives from Shannon, Foster, and Casey suggest that this legal and familial battle may continue for some time, with questions surrounding John Amos' will, his medical care, and the circumstances of his death likely to be addressed in court. For now, Fans and supporters of the iconic actor are left grappling with the unfortunate reality that his passing has been overshadowed by a bitter family dispute. As the investigation continues, the legacy of John Amos remains at the center of a deeply personal and painful family conflict, with each side holding firm to their version of events. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates on celebrity deaths and news updates.